Welcome back unicorns to another video. In today's video, I'm gonna be doing the eyeshadow bingo challenge. I think that's what it's called. And I saw like a few of YouTubers do it, so I wanted to try it out and do it myself. So I'm gonna do it in today's video. And also I'm gonna be trying a new palette. So if you want a review video just on that palette, then let me know and I can do that in the future. But this is just gonna be me doing the colors that I use trying out and seeing how it works so let's get on with the video so I have my phone right here I have the word the number generator up on my I'm gonna do it five times and that's my look and I'm gonna show you the palette before we start so it's called city color 35 eyeshadow palette. So these are the colors. It's all rainbow and all that stuff, so it's really good for like it has a wide variety of colors is what I'm trying to say. So I'm going to, I'm trying to put this out, up there, I'm going to write down all the numbers and then, let y'all know, I mean, so I know, I remember exactly what they are. Um, so I'm going to get a piece of paper so I have the numbers written down so I don't forget them so the first number is 3 we always said that first number is 3 so the third one is this white shade right here so that might be my transition shade or a highlight shade. So the next number is 28. Um, Is that the light purple shade right here? Not so pretty. The next one. The third number is 12. And it's it's just yellow shade right there. The fourth number is 30. Which is this deep? It's like a maroon red, or what does it look like? Third, and then my last number is four. So those are all my numbers that I got. I got 3, 28, 12, 30, and 4. So let's see what the fourth one is. This blue shade right here. And that is a really pretty shade. So I'm going to use a light purple first. Which is 28. Right here. I'm gonna put that all in my crease. And I'm gonna use this brush that I always use. So I'm gonna put it in my crease and as like my transition shade.
So this is what it looks like. Hopefully y'all can see it. So I'm going to do my other crease off camera and come back and we'll do the next color. Okay, I'm back with the creases done. The next um, color I'm going to do to deepen it some is 30, which is this dark shade. It's like a dark red. And I'm just going to put this in the crease to darken some. So I decided to put that on my crease and some on my lid. And the red shade did have a little bit fall out, so just to let y'all know if you use this palette. So this is what my eyes look like so far. So the next color I'm gonna do um for the lower lash line is this blue shade, which I think it's really pretty. And I'm using this brush that I always use. It's the Alice in Wonderland collection on Amazon. So I really recommend you get your hands on them because they're really good brushes. So I'm just going to put this under my eye. Lower lash line. So I'm just lightly tapping to get the pigment onto my lash line. And then I'm going to take one of my fluffy brushes to blend out the little lash line. Going back in there to deepen it some. And I'm blending it again. So I'm dipping this into the third shade that I can use to help it blend some more and all that stuff. So I did both eyes off camera. This is what it looks like. This is like a unique look, because I do not do this, but I like it so far. So I'm going to put, I'm going to get this brush, and we're going in the yellow, which is 12, which is right 
right here. I'm gonna put that in there for now. I'm just gonna pack it on there so it's good in color. This is what it looks like. Um, I like it. Mm -hmm. It's like a unique look. So I'm just gonna blend it some with my finger. So it blends seamlessly into the loop. And I'm gonna pack on a little bit more in the center. Okay, so this is what it looks like so far. I'm gonna go off camera, put my lashes on, and tell y'all what I did at the end and give y'all look I mean show y'all the final result. So this is the final look, and I really like it. It's so unique and different. So what I did is I did my mascara, and I've been using the same mascara for all my looks, but if you're new here, it's the LA Colors one, and this is amazing. I recommend you try this, and it's only a dollar. It's at the dollar um, store, Dollar Tree, whatever, and it's amazing, and it's little, so it gets super good on your lower lash lines I mean lower lashes um for lips I just wanted to do a gloss so the main focus is on my eyes and I just use this gloss and I cannot say this but on my Instagram I'll tag the brand and you can go check that out my Instagram's linked down below if you want to go follow it because I cannot say that brand okay so let me know down below what you think of this look and if you have done this challenge before and if you haven't and you just watched my video and got inspiration if you do do this look tag me and i will go like your post or watch your video if you do the same if you do a video with it so another thing if you want to see a video of me using this palette again for like another look also let me know down below and i will do that because this is a new palette it's called silly Co city color and i'll try to find the exact palette and if i can't i'll link down the seller that i got it from because i got it from a facebook seller and that's what i like to do to like give them support is link them down below so they can get you know more viewers on their stuff so they can get more sales okay so that's it for today's video if you enjoyed it give it a thumbs up comment down below if you like this look or not um don't forget to subscribe to join the unicorn family and hit that bell icon to be notified when we up when i upload and unicorns always be yourself bye